No news is bad news. Hey, it's Eric Osnes here with ericismybanker.com and CMG Home Loans with my weekly update on mortgage rates for the week ending October 27, 2023. Well, no news is bad news, at least this week it was. It started with a three-day rally pushing rates back down below 8%. Remember last week, we broke 8% for the first time in 23 years. But then things deteriorated. There weren't many major economic releases this week, which is normally what moves the markets. Instead, the bonds were just turning negative as part of their range finding and consolidation in anticipation of next week's wave of economic releases. Yes, next week is jobs week. Rates will rally if the October jobs numbers show fewer new jobs created and higher unemployment. If not, we're in for more volatility until the economy does finally slow. Uh, for the week, uh, rates ended up fairly flat. Here are the national averages. Conventional 30-year fixed rate, 7.98%. That's uh, down 0 0.02 from a week ago, pretty much flat. 15-year fixed rate, 7.29% flat from last week. FHA and VA, 30-year fixed rates, 7.38%, down about 0 0.02. And 30-year fixed rate jumbo is still over 8, 8.05 percent. That's down 0 0.01 uh, from last week. Moving on, who's your dad do? According to a recent economic article, when mortgage rates were at 3 percent, over 55 million households in America could afford to buy a home. But with current rates, only 22 million households are in that category. So what do you do if you're not part of that 22 million? Well, how about getting a dad do or an ADU? That's an accessory dwelling unit. I have a dad do. Uh, it's right there. Uh, I love it uh, because my tenant pays a chunk of my mortgage payment. Accessory dwelling units uh, are a great way to add income to your household. They're also super excellent ways to add space for elderly parents, a caregiver, a home office, extended family, or even for short-term rentals. Washington State recently relaxed its zoning rules and now all municipalities will allow up to two ADUs per residential lot. But be careful with that because at this time financing guidelines only allow one ADU per residential lot. <clears throat> An accessory dwelling unit can either be attached in ADU or detached to dad do. Uh, to qualify as an attached ADU, it must have a separate entrance that is independent from the primary dwelling, uh, meaning that your tenant can come and go without having to go through the main house. And it has to include at least a kitchen, a bathroom, and a sleeping space. Several loan programs allow 75% of the rent from your ADU to be added to your qualifying income. So not only does it make owning your home more affordable, it can also help you qualify for a higher sales price. There are several ways to finance an ADU. It's easy if you find a home that already has one. We treat that just like any other single family property. But you can also add an ADU using a renovation loan. A renovation loan provides financing to purchase your home plus funds to build the ADU. Closing occurs before construction starts so closings can be quick and the seller is out of the picture before things get dusty. Renovation loans are available with down payments as low as 3.5% of the total project cost. That's the purchase price plus the cost of renovation plus we add a 10% contingency reserve to that. And the appraisal on a renovation loan is based on the finished value of the home after you've done the uh, work or added the ADU. So you get credit for that extra equity that's being created by adding that ADU. There's several local contractors who specialize in dadus and doing ADU construction. They can be really creative and really cool. Um, put one in your backyard, put it on top of a garage, convert a basement into one. As long as you've got a separate independent uh, entrance on those attached ones, you're good to go. And even works for one to three unit properties as long as your total unit count does not exceed four. Reach out and I can run the numbers to see if I can help put a dadu in your backyard. You can call me 206-915-3742, email me eric at ericismybanker.com or look for me on social media. Just look for Eric is my banker and you'll find me. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I've got lots of educational videos plus other cool stuff as well. That's all I've got for this week. I hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.